Naturally, the question that kind of comes up a lot, is privacy futile? Should we just give up? Obviously, our answer is no. So let's really break down the three reasons why privacy is not futile and what you can do. The first reason we significantly fight back on this kind of flawed sentiment is we don't really believe in perfect privacy. or the idea that someone is either private or not private, or a particular service is private or not private. Actually, the entire question of is X private comes from kind of this flawed perception that something must either be private or not, which is rarely, if ever, the reality. Every service has some privacy and security concerns, either directly because of something it collects or does, or indirectly because of something it could do better or something that it doesn't quite excel in. Those of you watching this video may already alias your emails and phone numbers, use a password manager, enable 2FA, switch away from those problematic default services, and maybe even just stop using invasive services altogether. And that's frankly the journey that comes with the most benefit. Beyond that, you get still benefit, but it's definitely a lot of diminishing returns, which may very well be worth it for some. But the reality is the vast majority of people have yet to do even one of the things that I listed off that you who's watching this video has likely done. Privacy isn't a black and white concept, it's about you and what you choose to share with the world. This is why privacy matters. It's only when people are affected by privacy that they realize the importance of it. And so now um, there was actually something going around that like they didn't want to show the, the Russian or the Ukraine's military movements. And they were asking people not to share this on social media. They were also um, encouraging lots of the Ukrainian citizens to get on end-to-end -end encrypted messaging and doing all these things that were just like, oh, this is just what we do day to day. And it really highlights the importance of privacy. People don't care about privacy and they say they have nothing to hide until something impacts them. And I think it's, at this day, in this day and age, it's almost becoming selfish and very self-centered to even say, oh, I don't care about privacy because I have nothing to hide. Because at a certain point, yeah, you might not have anything to hide, but you not taking privacy seriously still impacts the people around you. And for many people, they have kind of already accomplished that and are living their privacy dreams without the need for perfect privacy. The second reason we fight back on this common defeatist attitude is because if you refuse to advocate for privacy and deem it hopeless, you are actively enabling other powers to advocate for you, which history shows tends to be the wrong forces of power. Similar to racism, <laughs> choosing to say nothing and allowing it to happen is not far off from the perpetrator. A true anti-racist will actively go out of their way to ensure racist policies and beliefs do not exist in an institution. To tie that concept to privacy, you refusing to advocate and stand for the right to privacy 
is you actively allowing others to take advantage of an already broken system. Big tech, governments, and others in power will continue to insist they are the ones who are private, set their own bars for privacy in the world, and advocate for their vision of privacy status quo. And the services that probably should be normalized are then labeled extreme and unnecessary for the masses. And the services that probably should be normalized are then labeled extreme and unnecessary for the masses. Which kind of slowly kills them off. So let it be heard here. Whether or not you choose to actively follow and implement even a single privacy precaution in your life, you can still do wonders for the privacy battle and make it much less futile by just using your voice and advocating for its importance for actually good privacy. The world is a small stage and if you're not up on it, others will gladly take it for you and quite literally brag about how private they are as they continually abuse your data. Out of principle, stay on that stage and don't be embarrassed to be on it because you don't think you're private or secure enough to be there. The takeaway, be loud, be proud, and speak your voice on privacy regardless of where you are on the journey yourself. Now, acceptance of the situation. The takeaway. Let the bleakness of this fight inspire you to create content, to develop software, to talk to your friends, to inspire others, and especially yourself. Let it inspire you to march into battle knowing full well you get, really have nothing to lose and everything to gain if you're willing to fight for it. To bring this all back together, Feeling hopeless about the situation is super normal. We all feel it sometimes, but it doesn't actually do much to help. In fact, I'd argue it generally makes things worse. If you're able, it'd be awesome for you all to leave some positive feedback and encouragement for each other in the comments section of this video, and maybe leave some different things that helped you on your journey when things got tough. Help each other out a bit down there, and if you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to join our Patreon in the description below, or just visit patreon.com slash techlore to join the list of these awesome names of people at the bottom of the screen. You're all so awesome, and enable us to make this content free to the world.